Hello and welcome to the first lecture, uh, first video lecture on the topic of bending stresses in beams. Now, <coughs> uh, beams are structural members that are actually subjected to transverse loading. Or what is a transverse loading, if you may ask? Transverse loading is a load which acts in the direction which is perpendicular to the axis of the beam so this is the longitudinal axis this is the longitudinal axis so when a load is acting in a perpendicular direction to this longitudinal axis this is called a transverse load and due to this transverse load there is bending which is induced in the beam so due to this bending there will be some bending stresses that would be developed in the uh, beam structure. Now if putting it in another words, let us just get rid of this uh, now and now if we say that if a member is subject to equal and opposite couples okay before let's get that load again this is the transverse load that I was talking about now what will happen this beam let us say this beam is supported at its two ends now what will happen when this load acts in a transverse direction this beam will tend to bend in this way okay so this beam will tend to bend in a way like this so this is called bending now due to this bending there will be some stress induced and this will be called a bending stress okay and you can also imagine that this beam can be bent by applying a couple in this direction. So this couple is called bending moment. Okay. So a transverse load can bring about bending and a bending moment acting in this direction as a couple can also bring about bending of a beam. Okay. Now if the only bending moment being applied if only bending moment is being applied then it is called pure bending or when we say then we if we have a case of pure bending then the shear stress induced is always zero there is no shear stress induced in the uh, beam structure now in this case the bending stresses that are induced okay they are they are what obviously called bending stresses but they are also termed as flexural stresses okay so they are also called flexural stresses now what is happening in this beam uh, let us let us uh, draw it again let us draw this beam again let me draw it like this this is the longitudinal axis let me name it a b c and d now when you bend it when you apply a bending moment at its two ends what happens it bends as we discussed in the diagram above now what happens if you observe what is happening this layer layer AB has now become curved and layer DC has now also become curved now if I draw it at as a separate diagram this would become something like this isn't it so this would become a dash B dash and this would become C dash D dash let us say this axis these two points were named X Y okay so these are this is the axis that we were talking about and this is X dash and Y dash now this this is before bending and this is after bending now what is happening after bending if you compare it with before bending is that 